team, it's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with how to make the most of German Christmas markets, Germany in a nutshell. I'm excited to jump into this because I love all these videos I'm watching about German Christmas markets. I think they're just the most incredible idea of getting into the spirit for sure. But before we dive in, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, give the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. I got social media, Patreon, all up top. You know, subscribe to any of it, put all the links in the description. All you gotta do is hit the link, follow me, talk to me, human. I talk back. If you guys got a favorite video suggestion, you can subscribe to Patreon or drop it in the comment section. What do you got? Christmas markets. They're one of my favorite things about Christmas here. The lights, people coming together, so awesome. the glue vine. So today I'm in Dresden to show you how to make the most of them and why they're so integral to German Christmas culture. Talk to me. Almost every city in Germany has at least one Christmas market. There are more than 2,500 in total. They typically open on the first weekend so of Advent, nice. some even a little bit earlier, and they're a crucial part of the German Christmas season. Christmas all right, let's jump straight in. First of all, most Christmas markets are completely free, although some have a small charge. There are loads of stalls where you can buy candles and handmade crafts and basically do all of your Christmas shopping. There are also lots of traditional German food stalls with sweet and savory treats on offer. Classics are kale, oh, these no, no, mushrooms. No, 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 no kale. When it comes to veggies, like, I, I just, I know, I know it's not healthy. I know I should eat them. I just can't. I, I can't. I can't, I can't do it. I'm a carnivore. I'm, I'm very carnivorous. But I'll eat dairy products, you know, like, like I'll, I'll do milk and eggs and all. But more, for, for more times than not, carnivore, and I'm not messing with the veggies. Classics are kale, these mushrooms, or the classic Bratwurst. No German event is complete I'll, without Wurst. I always take the Bratwurst. Always. And my personal favorite, Ooh. sugar toasted almonds. Mm. I could definitely so get some of those too. And of course, there is Glühwein galore. That's mulled wine, hot wine infused with spices and fruits. And to be honest, to that's me. the main thing when you're meeting friends. But there are, <laughs> of course, alternatives like hot chocolate or punch. Hmm. But my most important tip for you is to dress warm. I'm talking layers, thermals, warm gloves, <laughs> a cozy hat, and an even warmer jacket, because trust me, it gets cold standing around, even with a glue mm. bound. Yeah, that is the one thing that would be tough for me to, I do not like cold. Like I hate being cold. And so uh, I, I need a heated jacket. I need I need a heated jacket for sure. Yeah, I would need to layer up big time. I would need it all. standing around. I can't Even stand with the cold. Glue In case you get overwhelmed, here are some basic German words and phrases to help you navigate the Christmas markets. What we got? Mit Schuss with a shot. This is important mm. if you want a little extra something in your Glühwein, like rum or amaretto. Mm. Fun. This is like a deposit for your mug. Don't stress out if you're charged mm. eight euros or so for your glue bind because you'll probably get a few back once you return the mug. Bude or Stand. These are the stalls. If you want to know where the closest glue bind stall is, ask for the glue bind Bude. Okay. A brief history. German Christmas markets wow. are certainly not a new invention. The first Christmas markets already existed in the 14th century. At that My time, they were God. rather classic supply markets. 300 years later, they came closer to what we know today as Christmas markets, an atmospheric place to get together. Perhaps the most famous one is the Nuremberg Christkindlesmarkt. But the Dresdner Striezelmarkt is considered the first genuine Christmas market in the world. I find this so awesome, man. Uh, I'm telling you, these Christians, I know I keep saying it, but uh, there's just a great way to get into that Christmas spirit time of the year. Like, they, First I genuine Christmas one. market I just got a busy one. 
Dresden is particularly famous mm. for its Stollen, and someone heavily involved in that tradition is the official Dresden Stollen girl, and that's who we're going to meet now. Mm. Let's meet her then. Deep dive. Und kannst du mir ein bisschen erzählen über die Verbindung Dresdner Stollen und Striezelmarkt? Also Strieze ist ja ein anderes Wort für den Stollen. Also natürlich ist das der Striezelmarkt von dem Dresdner Schriftstollen abhängig. Er ist ein, ursprünglich ein traditionelles Brot, was dann der 1491 wow. zu einem speziellen Gebäck weiterentwickelt wurde. Und rund 100 Bäcker produzieren ihn jedes Jahr aus Neue mit dem Geheimrezept und natürlich auch mit geheimen Gewürzen oder keinen Zutaten mhm. und deswegen ist ja oh. wirklich bloß original aus Dresden und Umgebung. Also Stollen ist eigentlich die wichtigste Sache hier. <lacht> That's so awesome. Like in Dresden, uh, many markets are... Said, since 1491. It was a regular bed, but got turned into a special pastry in 1491. That's crazy, bro. Like... To go back that right far <laughs> is insane. It blows my mind. Like in Dresden, many markets are famous for their specialities. Nuremberg, for example, has its own famous gingerbread. The main ones keep things pretty traditional, like this one, but there are a few with more variety on offer. Ooh. Erotic Christmas markets can be found oh, in cities wow. like Berlin and Hamburg. Makes things oh, interesting. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. Now we're meeting a man whose life basically revolves around the Christmas market. He's worked here for decades and knows it like the back of his hand. Seit 40 Jahren arbeite ich in dem Beruf und habe solche Figuren hergestellt. 40 years. Was ist das Tolle hier an so einem Weihnachtsmarkt zu arbeiten? Auf den Weihnachtsmärkten ist es ein besonderes Flair, weil man dann Kontakt zu den Kunden hat. Sehr viele Amerikaner sind ganz interessiert an unseren Nussknackern. Wir haben ja wunderschöne Nussknacker. Äh, ja, der Klassiker, also, und äh, da sprechen wir drüber und da haben wir Spaß, haben wir Fun, wenn wir sagen, bitte den Finger nicht hier reinstecken. <lacht> äh, also, es macht einfach Spaß, hier auf dem Stretzelmarkt zu arbeiten. Die deutschen Weihnachtsmärkten waren immer so die besten. Warum denken Sie, dass es so ist? Äh, weil wir nicht nur verkaufen, sondern weil wir mit Herzblut dabei sind. Und dann ist es einfach auch eine Tradition. Das gehört einfach irgendwo jetzt zum Leben mit dazu. Und das ist also sehr, sehr schön. Und das arbeitet eben auch dann auf den Heiligabend hin, auf, auf Weihnachten. Und wir freuen uns dann natürlich auch, wenn am Heiligabend dann um 14 Uhr der Schluss ist und wir dann äh, mit der Familie in die Christnacht gehen und dann Weihnachten haben. There you have it. I love that and how happy he is to just like to just work there and get to meet the customers, get to interact, uh, get to make his special designs. But at the end of the day, when it's Christmas Eve, he's excited to also go and spend that time with family and enjoy that. Like, man, these workers at these German Christmas markets are absolutely awesome. They're awesome. There you have it. Christmas markets in Germany. Aren't they just magical? For me, they yeah. really get me in the festive spirit, especially when the evenings are cold and dark. Wouldn't you agree? Let us know in the comments what the Christmas traditions are like in your country. I love it. I love these Christmas market videos because I feel like I learn one more thing in every video. But that's all we got for this one. You guys got a favorite video suggestion? You can subscribe to Patreon or drop it in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, give the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. I got social media and Patreon all up top. You can subscribe to any of it. Put all the links in the description. All you gotta do is hit the link, follow them, talk to me. Love talking to you guys. You guys are the most incredible team on YouTube. It's your boy Dinia. Out.